Hello Divine Masculine and welcome to your power message for Monday, Magical Monday. So I'm going to bring in the Divine Masculine Distraction Oracle for you today to see what you're going through, what you may be distracted by, what may be on your mind, what you may be searching for or seeking. I'm also going to bring in two decks that I've used for the feminines today, the Unicorn Magic and the Life Navigator deck. And I'm going to bring in a card from the Star Wars Activation deck. So let's see what you need to know. So we're going to start with this deck here. So thank you, angels. Wow, it jumped straight out of the deck and I've got one sticking out of the deck too. So the first card that's coming up here, we've got clubby. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that you've been out clubbing over the weekend or, you know, you've been out in a nightclub or socialising. It means that you've been trying to forget your struggles a little bit, trying to forget the struggles of your day. And sometimes you do that by getting lost in the crowd. That means you lose your way a little bit, you dim your light, and you follow the crowd. So you're being reminded that you are a leader. And I feel this weekend, you know, maybe you've had to do things that you haven't really wanted to do. You may have had obligations or responsibilities because it's Easter. Maybe you've had to go away somewhere with your karmic partner or, you know, you've had to do things with family. And you felt like you've just been getting a bit lost in the crowd. So you've been trying to forget the struggle. So I feel some of you may have been drinking alcohol. You know, maybe you've been eating a little bit too much. Maybe you have been listening to music and you may have even been out somewhere. But, you know, you want to kind of put the weekend behind you. So I feel a lot of you are actually really ready to go back to work or you're really looking forward to you know, later this week, because I feel some of you are going to be having time off today, some of you aren't. So it feels like you want to forget the past and you're working things out. You know, you've got puzzles and this is a Rubik's Cube and we all know how hard they are sometimes to, you know, to solve. So you may feel like, how am I going to solve this? How can I get through this? How can I work this out? What do I need to do? So I feel you're very much in your mind today, working things out, working through things, trying to find those solutions to the problems or to the puzzles in your life, because sometimes your life can feel like a puzzle. And families, if you're cross-watching, you know, you can be puzzled at times by your divine masculine's behavior, especially if they're doing things that may seem out of sorts, like going clubbing or suddenly going away with their karmic partner or doing something that seems a bit strange to you when they've told you they love you and care or you're thinking what's going on so this is really the masculine saying to you I'm working things out because I need to find a way out I don't want to feel lost in the crowd I want to be the leader I want to move forward so we're going to start with a card from the Star Wars affirmation cards this is a gorgeous deck here so we're going to use this deck. So what do the masculines need to know? Jump straight on the floor. Wow. So we've got a few cards coming out here. So I'm going to take them now. The reason they've jumped out in this way is because these are all connected with the colour blue, first of all. They're all guidance cards. Now, you know, there's quite a few cards here. We've got one, two, three, four. I've got six of these cards. And it isn't the fact that I haven't shuffled them properly and the whole decks fell out. It's the fact that there's messages here for the masculine. So you need guidance right now. And all of these are guidance cards. And these are also connected with the beautiful colour there of Archangel Sandalfin. That colour is Archangel Sandalfin's colour. And also connected with Archangel Shamuel. Now Archangel Shamuel helps us to find what we're seeking. And what you are seeking, Divine Masculine, is guidance. You want answers, you're trying to work things out, you're looking for solutions. And you're talking to heaven. And Archangel Sandalfin answers your prayers. And the way he answers your prayers is by bringing in guidance. So he's saying to you today, the Jedi believe that the force is all around us. Our beliefs can guide us, but also overwhelm us. Focus on what you know. Every experience makes you who you are. Isn't that powerful? Every experience makes you who you are. So masculines, whatever you've been through in your life, it's made you who you are. So let go of the guilt and the regret and the, the struggle because everything you've been through has had to happen that way for a reason. 
and your beliefs can guide you but overwhelm you. And this is how it is. Sometimes your feminine is guiding you, but also the, the light is overwhelming to you. And this is why you have to go within to focus on what you know and what you feel and the forces all around you. And that means that you have support from heaven. You are surrounded by love. You're not alone. And everything you go through makes you who you are. We've also got this powerful message that says, if you want to succeed, you have to believe in yourself. When do you feel most confident? And you know you feel the most confident when you're in your feminine's presence, when you feel alive, when you feel connected. Accept yourself for who you are and know that you can do anything that you set your mind to. And this really resonates with the feminine reading today. So again, mirrored energy, you can do what you desire. You have the power to achieve your dreams. Don't let anyone tell you different. So if you want to succeed, if you want to move forward, if you want to reach out, if you want to change your life today, you have to believe in yourself. So feel confident and know that you are not alone. Accept yourself as you are. You can do anything you set your mind to. And look at this, strength is more than just a physical attribute. Appreciate your inner strengths, reflect on what strengths you possess and observe the strengths in the, fr the friends and family around you. So you are saying to your feminine, your light in the way you are, your strength and power inspires me. That's why as a divine feminine, all we have to do is shine that light because we are the lighthouse. And the lighthouse guides the ships around the storm or the rocks so they sail free. And when you shine your light, bright divine feminine, your masculine becomes free, free to be with you, free to pursue you, to come to you, to find you again. And they will always find you. Strength is more than a physical attribute. And this is what you're realizing, masculine, that you have that strength within. You're starting to appreciate your inner strength, the things that you love about you instead of thinking that you're not good enough. So you can reflect on what strengths you possess and observe the strengths you want in others. We've also got it's normal to be afraid. So, you know, it's okay to be afraid. That's the human part of you. That's the ego coming through. It's okay to feel those things. But fear can be the path to the dark side. So in other words, don't let fear control your mind or control your life or hold you back from doing the things you truly want to do. Because fear can open the door to an endless wave of negative emotions. In other words, we get controlled by our ego and our head. We start going over things and over things, beating ourselves up about the past or stressing over the future. So allow yourself to be afraid. That means allow yourself to feel anxious and a little bit nervous and uneasy about the future because it's uncertain. But don't let the fear guide your actions. You are stronger than that fear, bigger than that trigger, tougher than anything that seems to be holding you back. And standing out in a crowd does not mean acting like a different person. Embrace who you are and be comfortable with the ways you per you personally and your personality already makes you unique. So the ways you personally want to be. This resonates so much with this card. Okay, a way to forget the struggles of the day and get lost in the crowd. You're saying, I don't want to get lost in the crowd. I want to stand out. But you do feel afraid because you're not sure what it means. You're not sure what people will think or what people will say. If people are going to judge you or if you're going to lose things in your life. Stand out and be seen. It doesn't mean you act like a different person. It means you embrace who you are. And that's where you are right now. You're just becoming the person that you were always born to be. And there, the, there are a few feelings worse than fighting with someone you care about. The next time you're in an argument with someone, stop for a moment and look at the situation from their perspective. Try to understand how they feel. So this is really where you are right now. You know, you're learning how to understand how others feel. So instead of fighting with a karmic partner, you're trying to resolve the situation so you can leave amicably and part pay perhaps as friends and in a new energy. You don't want to argue with your divine feminine anymore. So that's why you also stop and think and 
you know, really analyse where you are. See it in a higher way. So we're going to use the Navigator deck here. So again, quite a few cards coming out. So we've got Aim High. Now this is really powerful because this is the energy of the Archer. And I love this energy. You know, this can be connected with Sagittarius. So that may mean something to someone watching. But the message is Aim High. Everything is energy. You create the unstoppable momentum of success when you focus clearly on your goals. So focus on what you desire. Focus on what you want. Aim high with unstoppable force and unwavering faith. And we've got stillness. Make a space for calm and quiet in your day. Turn off your phone. Allow the world to rush on past unnoticed for a while and dip your soul into peaceful waters. So if it's all getting a bit much for you right now, make a space for calm. Breathe. Turn off your phone for a little bit. So families, if your masculine's a bit silent today, it's okay. They just need to dip their soul into peaceful waters. And also listen to music, the soundtrack of your life. What you give your attention to shapes your experiences of life. Turn down the volume on the world's disharmony and choose to listen to what gives you joy. So I definitely feel this about you listening to music, but it's so much more than that. You were contacting your feminine here. You want to hear the sound of your feminine's voice, whether that's over the phone or in a dream or through telepathy, closing your eyes and hearing their voice. But I feel this about contact. You know, she's holding that shell by her ear there and she's closing her eyes. So this is about contact with each other, connecting in some way. It could be 5D communication, but it's much more likely that you're wanting that 3D communication. And that's where you currently are. And you're realising that what you give your attention to really does shape your life. And you don't want to give your attention to anything negative anymore. So I'm going to bring in the Unicorn Magic deck. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know for the masculines? We've got two cards. So the first card is, I tune into my intuition and I set sail for the destiny ahead of me. So you're ready for this step. You're ready. I tune into my intuition. You know what you need to do. And you set sail for the destiny ahead of you. It's your destiny to be with your twin. It's your destiny to work on your purpose and mission. To be the person you've come here to be. And you are setting sail. So because you are setting sail, feminines, remember to be that lighthouse. Because the sailor may need to be navigated around the storm or the rocks or the things that get in the way. And that's what you do with your light. And also I unleash my unicorn energy as I fulfill my soul purpose in life. So your unicorn energy is your unique spirit, your innocence, your childlike spirit, you know, your power as a psychic being, your intuition. I unleash this energy because I want to fulfill my soul purpose in this life. That's why you've come. Stepping out of the crowd, going over that bridge, taking that leap of faith, doing what you're guided to do. And that's what you need to know. So don't worry if you've distracted yourself over the weekend or, you know, you've been trying to forget the struggles. You've been lost in the crowd because today is a brand new day and this is a day to work things out. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.